Hi everybody, it is Jen and I'm here today to help you guys out with a new Sims resource related video. I absolutely freaking love the Sims resource and they finally have some stuff on for the Sims 4. I shouldn't say finally because the game just freaking came out like a week ago. But anyway, they have stuff on for the Sims resource uh, for, the Sim for the Sims 4 and I'm so excited. They just have... Um, clothing recolors and I think some hair recolors, eye recolors, makeup. It's mostly recolored stuff and they have some household lots that you can download and also Sims. So I took the time to figure out how to do this because it is different than The Sims 3. It's a little bit different but not very challenging. So I made this little video to help you guys out since you enjoy my other The Sims resource themed videos and I hope this helps you and if it does you can give me a like and if you have any questions of course comment below and I will do my best to answer it. I'm not an expert at this stuff, but if I can help you, I totally will, or I will find you a link or something that may be more knowledgeable than me. Anyway, here we go. Let's start a downloading stuff. Okay, so if you go to The Sims 4, you're going to see a section that says Downloads. You want to hop, skip, jump all the way over there, and you're going to see a section that says Sims 4, and you will see that there's different sections within that subsections if you will so it's like view all selected items sims lots houses clothing um, eventually I'm sure they are gonna bring out more stuff like furniture different meshes all sorts of stuff sorry about that advertisement um, so basically what you need to do is go through this is a section of all the different things that they have and there's a ton of stuff for this for the game just coming out they've been really busy that argyle sweater is adorable so I'm just looking for something real quick to to download and I love 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 this maxi dress right here with the orangey kind of yellowy I just passed it go back up there go back up there okay there we go so that's gonna be the thing that I choose to download so I will give you guys the instructions now first thing you want to do is click on it for those of you who don't know the Sims resource is free if you don't mind dealing with some waiting for downloading you have to wait about 10 seconds and you also deal with a lot of advertisements this is a close-up of the dress I think it is a high quality item and I think it is really beautiful so I click on that little green download button and because I'm not a premium member I have to wait 10 seconds before they let me download it onto my computer as I look at some beautiful little advertisements there but it's no big deal and if you want you can pay like three dollars a month or something and you won't have to deal with any of that stuff so then what you want to do is designate a folder on your desktop and I have that it's I just have it as TSR for the sim resource and this is where you're going to be saving all of your downloaded files to um, so that's what I'm doing right now and if the file is something weird like JQXZ37 sometimes they're not named the way that they actually are you can change the name and make it into like a dress or a summer dress or whatever you want just so when you're looking for it later you'll find it next you want to go to the my documents section on your computer and you will click on that if I can click on it uh, that would be a good job and then you want to go to the electronic arts folder then you want to go to the Sims 4 and then you want to go to mods now all you need to do is copy and paste that little thing from the folder on your desktop in there and then BAM it is in the game baby so I downloaded a few different custom content items and I'm gonna show them to you in game right now I downloaded this sweater just a warning you guys I think this might have crashed my game I have to do some further testing I'm not sure at all but I think that sweater crashed my game so I'm gonna test it more I'll let you know but that sweater I downloaded I also downloaded some adorable um, pumps they look like Louboutins they're like the black with the red soles you can't really see it in this lighting because it's like nighttime I tried to show you but it's not really coming out so great but they're adorable little pumps and they have all sorts of stuff and I'm I know that it's just gonna grow like bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gonna get crazy so that's that and then here's our dress that we downloaded and I just think it is so 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 pretty I just absolutely love it I think they're doing such a good job and I just think that you know especially with the creative style being gone as many different color options as we can get I think is just gonna make our game more personal and a richer experience so that is how you download clothes makeup eyes anything that really would go on a sim now if we're talking about houses that's a little different and I'm going to show you how to do it right now the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on a house that I have some interest in and um, 
it is this house right here. Uh, it'll pop up in a second. My computer's running a little slow. I don't know if that's because of the screen cap or my spotty internet. But that's a really cute house. I think it's adorable. I think it's like a two-bedroom house, and you could slide through and check out the pictures. It's kind of like looking on Realtor.com, I have to say. It's kind of fun. Anyway, so I'm just scoping this house out, seeing if I want it in my game. I do. So I'm going to click the little green download button. This is very similar to downloading the uh, clothing and hair and all that stuff this is but it doesn't get different until after you already have it saved to your desktop so we're just going to go through the little process of waiting our 10 seconds and then pressing that little green button again and then we're going to save it to our folder on our desktop and it's a little house and it's all wonderful so we're just going to do that and it is saved again you can name it if you want to whatever kind of name you want to give it just so you can remember later because once you have a bunch of files especially if you go on a long downloading session you're gonna be like what the hell is that so it's better to try to name it then you want to go again into your my documents then you want to go again into electronic arts and the sims 4 this time you want to look for a folder called tray and I skipped it and it's right there and then you go into tray right there and then you just want to cut and paste the way you did for the clothing you want to do it in this folder now each house has like five or six different components to it so it's not as easy as the dresses or the sweaters where there's just one little file packet this is a little more complicated so um, you just want to open that folder because that, that comes in a zip file. Any kind of sets will come in a zip file. And this is obviously, it's a house, so it's going to come as a set. And then you want to just cut, and then you just want to go back to your folder, and you want to paste, and you can delete that like unzipped version if you want to because you already have the house in there, in that tray section. And now you go on your Sims game, and you go into the gallery, and then you go into like My Gallery not the public forum gallery. Go into there and you will find your houses that you've downloaded. Then all you need to do is go to a lot and even if it has a house on it, it doesn't really matter because you can just delete that house or go to an empty lot and then go into your little gallery and click like bring house into game. My screen recording thing for The Sims is a little weird so I can't record that interface for whatever reason. I, it's just not working. So I put it on the land and I'm just giving you a little quick go around on this house. I really like it actually. To me this looks like a really nice house for like roommates. Like maybe two guys living together. It has a little bit of a masculine vibe to it. And this is just a quick little go around of the upstairs. So there you have it, you guys. Hopefully this helped you learn how to get some awesome new stuff into your Sims 4 game. If you have any, any questions, you can comment below, and I will try to help you if I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy Simming!